chair and left him gaily prattling with a highly respectable gondolier who promised the royal babe to rear and teach him the trade of a time and air with his own beloved prattling. Both of the babes were strong and stout and considering all things clever. Of that there is no manner of doubt, no probable possible shadow of doubt, no possible doubt whatever. Time sped, and when at the end of the year I sought that infant cherished, that highly respectable gondolier was lying a corpse on his humble bier, I dropped a grand inquisitor seer, that gondolier had perished. A taste for drink combined with gout had doubled him up forever. Of that there is no manner of doubt, no probable possible shadow of doubt, no possible doubt whatever. But owing I'm much disposed to fear to his terrible taste for tippling, that highly respectable gondolier could never declare with a mind sincere which of the two was his offspring dear and which the royal stripling, which was which he could never make out despite his best endeavor. Of that there is no manner of doubt, no probable possible shadow of doubt, no possible doubt whatever. The children followed his old career. This statement can't be parried of a highly respectable gondolier. Well, one of the two who will soon be here, but which of the two is not quite clear. Is the royal prince you married? Search in and out and round about, and you'll discover never a tale so free from every doubt or probable possible shadow of doubt or possible doubt whatever.